All right. All right, if y'all saw how I have this camera rigged, you'd be like, what are you doing, lady? <laughs> it's so funny. Um, okay, so it has been quite some time and I really honestly never thought I would say this, but I've kind of missed YouTube. And um, so just this week, um, well, over the past little while, I have kind of missed a creative outlet and I haven't really had that. I've been doing a lot of um, just educating myself, pouring in things um, that I'm interested in, uh, reading a lot, and um, in doing that, I haven't really put a lot out into the world, and I used to create content all the time, and uh, I haven't done that in a while, so I was like, maybe I'll film a YouTube video every once in a while. I don't know what this will look like, but I wanted to kind of catch you guys up on the past year. So, um, I think the last video that we posted actually was um, my potage garden design. And, um, yeah, it didn't, it didn't go great. Uh, it, it did until it didn't. You know, it was... Um, I mean, I poured my heart and soul into that garden and got everything planted the way I wanted it. Um, it was looking pretty fantastic midsummer, but we, for the last two years, have um, made our entire income from the farm. And you know, if you've ever done that, that summer is go time. So, um, I had I had zero time to devote to my garden honestly I mean we woke up at 5 a.m. Um, barely sat down you know to eat a meal or anything an entire day and then you know went to sleep at 10 o'clock at night so it wasn't it's not a good season to like have something like a beautiful garden that's for enjoyment purposes to to take care of so it didn't, um, it was not well taken care of. Let me just put it that way. And, um, I am thinking and planning for this year's garden. I've got a little more space. I'm, that's why I keep looking this way. Cause I'm actually looking to my garden space right here. Um, but I've got a little more space now, but our compost pile is over here. And, uh, I, I love having the compost and actually I think my garden was so fruitful this year and so um, lush um, because the compost is right beside of the garden and the garden is actually on a little slope and so all of that juiciness was <laughs> running down into my garden so I'm pretty sure that's why it was so lush and beautiful when it was. I hope this is not blurry y'all I am so out of practice for YouTube it's not even funny. Um, but, uh, so the past year, um, we've had some major things. I feel like every time I do a big, like, Hey, I hadn't seen y'all in a year. Let me give you an update. There's like major things. But, um, so after two years of Adam being at home with us full time, uh, we made the very tough decision that this was not the life we wanted. And, um, you know, we have many friends who do this uh, full-time family thing um, on the homestead, but most of them have um, other sources of income, and we did not. This was it, and it was hard. It was really, really hard, um, and it took everything we had, all six of us, all day, every day, everything we had in us, and we still couldn't get it all done. We actually ended up hiring um, a neighbor who um, came pretty much full time on with us in March, and even with her help, so there were seven of us working. A little Sawyer, if if you count a little Sawyer, seven of us, and um, 
we couldn't get it all done. We just couldn't do it. And um, so, uh, you know, it was very discouraging. Adam didn't want to go back to work, but then at the same time he did because it was so stressful on all of us. And it just wasn't, it just didn't look like the life that we thought it would. And um, so a really great opportunity came open for him to uh, go full-time at the place, the farm that he was working part-time at for the past couple of years. I mean, very part-time. I'm talking like during the winter months, he would work one day a week or maybe two days a week. And, um, and so he is the livestock manager at that farm now. Currently, he went back to work full-time in September. And... Um, so it it's been a real blessing he's in his element <laughs> kids are coming out um he's in his element this is what he loves this is what he's passionate about is um is growing livestock uh the livestock program to um better the land there i mean these are the things that he just thinks and dreams on all the time anyway so he is very much um excited about this job that he has now so, um, we have both, Adam and I have over the past year have had some, um, pretty significant health issues that have popped up. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail about those, um, at this time. I mean, we feel like they are being resolved, um, and we are praising the Lord for that because that has come from much prayer and much evaluation and much um, seeking of help. So, hi. Hi. You can't see him. I wish you could see him. Can you put your head up a little bit? Oh, I'll see the top of his head. Um, but we are on a path of healing. Um, I believe that we are making some good progress and um, and I just think I just think we're on the right track so I'm excited about that uh, excited to get things back to normal um, around here and so um, what else we in evaluating what we're doing around here Adam has gone back to work and we can't keep up with everything that needed that we were doing around here obviously um, but hi sweetie <laughs> see Jacob but um, we wanted to uh, keep our milk keep our dairy because we'll always have a milk cow we <laughs> we believe in um, the raw milk so much that we will always keep a milk cow. Ma, uh, Jacob got black nose. He's okay. He just got a little scratch on his nose, huh? Oh, he's got a black nose. Is that what you said? He does have a black nose. <laughs> uh, black eyes. He has black eyes. He's got brown eyes, yeah. He's uh, handsome. Two round, round goggles eyes. Two round, round goggles eyes. Yeah, they're circles. That's right. Um, uh, take up that big this is why I can't record YouTube videos with my kids around because I lose my train of thought uh, so quickly. Take up that yeah, big don't. Tail. He does have a big tail. Okay. Let me focus. Okay. Shh. Uh uh. Um. Hey, I know. Hey, I got look. Poop. It's not poop. It's just dirt, okay? <laughs> um, Take it when I'm it. No. We uh, believe so much in the raw milk that we will always have a milk cow for ourselves. And the demand for milk um, has just you. exceeded any kind of expectations that we ever had for our what dairy. Is. Hey, look. Mommy's recording a video. You need to be quiet, okay? Can okay. you be quiet for just a minute? Disrupt mm -hmm. Jacob. Thank you. He's a good boy, isn't he? He's a good boy. Um, so 
so uh, Sydney and I and Adam are continuing on with the dairy um, we actually have a waiting list that we keep um, <coughs> you know, as soon as we can add people onto the rotation from the waiting list, we have, you know, five more people join the waiting list. It's been, it's been absolutely crazy. Um, and, uh, a blessing. So we will continue doing that for now. And, um, and we still have our sheep. We still have some goats. We still have some pigs, but we are really trying to, um, I got pigs. we do have pigs. Um, pare down what we're doing around here. Okay. Um, he's drinking water. Yeah, he's drinking water. So, um, Daddy, watch you. Okay, you watch him. So, um, I have just been continuing to homeschool our children, which I love. Um, back in November, we went to the Home Sayers of America Women's Retreat in Virginia. Yes. I think I got my block. Good. Not a block. Okay. Okay. Um, and I was asked to be a speaker there, and I really enjoyed that. I was so honored to, to be able to do that. It's yucky. I wouldn't put that. I wouldn't do that. You can throw it in there, but I wouldn't put my hands in there. So, I'm hoping this is not too blurry for y'all. Um, so, anyways, uh, this may be a very every once in a while kind of thing. Um, I don't anticipate this being a scheduled thing. Hey baby, can you go play with brother over there or can you go play in your sand for a little bit while mommy finishes this video? This seems to be pretty typical of my experience with YouTube. <laughs> um, is Having an idea, finding the time, putting makeup on, you know, the things that don't happen every day, but if I'm filming a YouTube video, they do. And then getting outside and being interrupted and just getting completely sidetracked and frustrated. So this is probably why this will not be an everyday kind of thing. But I did... Um, poll our audience on Instagram and I was kind of blown away by the response because I I just said like hey if we were to put up very simple very unedited uh, YouTube videos um, you know what would you like to watch or would you even like to watch them what kind of content would you like to see and people were just like vlogs everyday life or like anything we just miss having your videos like i only got a handful of people that said they don't really watch youtube so it didn't matter to them but overwhelmingly i heard that you just like to see our everyday life and things that we're doing and it doesn't really matter cooking videos decorating videos um milking videos so when i am inspired and when i have the time I plan on picking the camera up and taking it with us to do our chores or show Sydney milk and the cows or whatever we're doing around here. Um, I do have some projects that I'm working on that I'm excited about. Um, as far as y'all saw our um, our remodel videos, which I'll I'll try to link those somewhere up up at the top there when I edit this, but just to, um, remind you guys that we, uh, we did a pretty significant remodel of our house when we got here and I documented every, pretty much every single day of that remodel and it was fun and it was hard and we got a lot of views for a baby channel, um, on those videos. And so, um, 
so I, I might you know show you guys what I'm working on I'm getting I'm getting prepared in my mind I haven't picked out anything yet but I'm getting prepared in my mind to actually wallpaper our living room and I've never wallpapered before so that should be interesting and funny um, and then we have all the gardening stuff that's coming up the planting of the seeds and the uh, or the starting of the seeds and eventually planting out and all that kind of stuff so um, my father-in-law's house is still being built I know we've um, brought y'all along for some of that but it's still being worked on and he's getting really close so I'll probably show you some of that um, so there's a lot going on around here as always but it just depends on how my mental space is that day whether I pick up the camera or not so but thank you for uh, joining me for this quick little update video and um, I hope that you guys will join me in whatever we bring you along for and um, thank you for continuing to support us thank you for um, you know being here and encouraging us and being like hey you haven't put it I had one one customer come um, recently I said hey you hadn't put out a video in a year and I'm like yeah I haven't had have a and um, you know it's just one of those things that I just it didn't we've never made an income from YouTube not not a significant income we've made just a teeny tiny bit of cash from YouTube and we've done this for what four four years now maybe five years now um, so it wasn't like it was it was my job you know what I mean um, but it did it did become kind of a chore to me and I didn't enjoy it at one point and so I really don't want this to be about like a business you know I, I don't want I'm not aspiring to be a youtuber holy skinnies I'm not aspiring to make an income from YouTube this is this is purely gonna be just for the fun of it plus um, Travis saw my YouTube camera out I hadn't brought it I mean literally had to dust it off a while ago and um, he was like oh and then like it like reminded him that we have a YouTube channel and he he said can I watch some videos and so he pulled our channel up and he started watching some old videos and it made us so happy just to see um, you know how much our kids have grown and the things that we've done together as a family and um it was just super cool so it reminded me of like why we started this to begin with was really just to kind of document our lives and to not um you know not all, let all these years go by without without video and things to have for future sake and um without youtube i really don't video a lot of our kids and what they do and you know to hold on to those memories like I want to be able to have those to share with them when they get older and to share with their children when when we're older so this will be a good excuse for that so thank you for joining us and um, we'll see you on the next video bye